Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentaries on Thursday morning, July the 20th. Thanks for joining us here as uh, we talk about what's happening in the markets overnight and what we can expect during the day session. We are again adding some premium into the markets, corn, soybeans overnight while wheat is trading lower, although not sharply lower, but we are making new lows in Kansas City and Chicago wheat. The uh, Wheat Quality Council Tour begins next Monday. Trade is anticipating we'll see large abandonment of uh, spring wheat acres. A lot of uh, producers have told us they have bailed up their crops and uh, trying to make something, some hay or straw out of it, some salvage value out of the crop this year. But yields that are there expect to be very poor, maybe 10 to 20 bushel an acre in a lot of cases, well above what the USDA is currently forecasting. Now we mentioned uh, yesterday in our closing comments for our, our website and on our commodity wrap program, Ch Sirius Channel, Sirius XM Channel 147, that uh, technically we may have put a temporary bottom in this corn and soybean markets and that could signal to the funds it's okay to start stepping back into this market and do some light buying. And uh, we did see technically markets move higher overnight, corn and soybeans a little bit higher as we put in more risk premium. The weather is far from ideal and we're starting to hear some private estimates start to come out now. 140 or 167.1 estimated by Commodity Weather Group and we'll have other private analysts come in I think very similar levels if not lower and the USDA is going to be forced to uh, lower their production figures in the uh, August supply and demand report. Uh, in the livestock trade, cattle futures have moved sharply higher. I think it's a real mixed uh, market in here. The fundamentals are, are largely negative for cattle, but the technicals are stronger. And in the hog market, the technicals are weaker, but the fundamentals are largely positive. So some mixed trade there going on. Yesterday, we were sharply higher in both hogs and cattle as a pretty strong buying came in to the market and rally prices into the close. Tomorrow's cattle on feed report, cattle inventory report Monday cold storage report that that uh, report tomorrow the cattle inventory and the cattle on feed I think the on feed numbers looks pretty friendly with marketings being very aggressive compared to uh, last uh, year about 104 uh, percent I think you should see pretty aggressive marketings here with the extreme heat cattle weights I don't expect will increase in today's report I think that will be steady at best and probably lower with the a uh, lot of heat out there in the plain states have a great day Good luck, good trading. Check back at our website for more information. This has been Brian Hoops, Midwest Market Solutions. We'll talk to you soon.